Hey, what's up? This is Martin Cleese, and you're watching PressPassTV.com. You know, Gleason's Gym in Brooklyn is one of the most famous training centers in the entire world. And we follow one athlete through his day at Gleason's as he gets ready for one of the most famous boxing matches for amateur fighters around the world. His name, Andre Henry. I'm Michael Arches. This is PressPassTV.com, and you're going to follow him through a day of training right now. For two hours a day, six days a week, Andre Henry prepares himself for one of the most famous boxing tournaments in the world, the New York Golden Gloves. Warm up, then I stretch. This, the elliptical, sometimes you just shadow box, and then just five minutes so I can stretch first, and then I go into my workout. I try to, nine, ten. It's empty here. Only time we come in a little bit later is if we need some boxing. What I like about this time, a lot of the pros, they teach me things, so. The 23-year-old, 141-pound welterweight is fighting out of Queens, New York, where his boxing dream began just a few years ago. I was born and raised in London, England. Moved to America when I was eight. Went to Philadelphia when we came here. And I moved to New York five years ago for boxing. At the time, I was a martial arts instructor. But Paulie Marginaldi came to my job one day. I didn't know who he was, but um, he was like, yeah, I'm a boxer, pretty much. He told me sport, and he was like, you ever think about boxing? I said, no. And then he told me about Gleason's and whatever, and brought me down here. When I first came here, it was hard. Um, like, the boxing training was a lot different than the martial arts, and truthfully, I got beat up a lot for the first time. Yeah. We go three minutes on, one minute off. When it's red, we get a minute break. Foot movement, I just really started learning maybe about a year ago. They had to take me back to basics and just moving forward, front, side to side. You ever see the Rocky movies when um, Rocky went to the California to train with Apollo and how they was teaching them how to do footwork? Um, it really is, you take, go back to the beginning to learn footwork. Andre is always quick to pass the credit on to his trainers for showing him everything he knows. Set up the combos. Boom. 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 Every day I come in, I try to learn something new from one of my trainers. Um, and then after they teach me it, I try to do it when we're in that spawn. <laughs> sometimes it's easier said than done. But even when you saw them doing pads with me, I don't know if you noticed that sometimes they would stop and show me and then we'll gradually speed it up. And then one day it will become natural to you. Uh, Bruce Lee said one day in Enter the Dragon, he was like, when I need to hit something, I don't hit, it hits all by itself. So you want it to become reaction pretty much. And that's what you work on trying to become. I like pads. It's kind of like I'm sparring. The way he does it, it's so high intensity. See, after two rounds, got me dripping in sweat already. <laughs> okay, sure, okay. Go. Two rounds here, and then I usually go to the dump, um, the rope. Same sort of thing, except for this is more side to side, and this is more bobbing and weave, going up and under. Same sort of thing, though. And then just move. Every time I slip, you try to throw punches. If I slip to my left and my waist on my left leg, I'm going to throw something off my left hand. Because that's when my, pay, my weight is distributed. If I slip to the right like that, I'm going to throw something on my right hand. Every time you are slip, simulating you slipping a jab or a cross, depending on which way you move to. So the idea is just to come up with different ways and combinations to punch once you make him miss. But you know, we can't always do the same thing because a good fighter's gonna adjust to it and he's gonna realize what you're doing. So this is just to play around and have fun and learn something new.
when I first came, speed bag was probably the hardest thing for me. It took me about six months to a year to learn to find out how to use it properly. I used to come in and I'd do my whole workout, but the speed bag, they'd be like, you hit the speed bag, and I, was, I wouldn't say anything, they'd be like, go hit the speed bag, because it was so hard to hit, and it was just there. <laughs> this is just the start of my day. I love coming here, working first, go home, eat, and then I start my day with work. When Andre leaves the gym, his training doesn't end. In fact, it's just beginning. He worked nights as a personal trainer, a career he recently went back to school for. And he says that move made him a better boxer. Help me about nutrition and just how your body works. And I went from running like five, six days a week to only three. And I'm in better shape now. And my resting heart rate is lower now than when I was training that hard before. And when those Madison Square Garden lights are shining on him, he says he plans to treat it like just another day at the gym. I don't try to go in there real anxious. I just look at it as another spawn. I try to be relaxed. I do better when I'm, whenever I'm relaxed. Um, there's times when I first started, I'd go in there tense. And my trainers would be like, Dre, just relax and have fun. When I look at it that way, um, it's a lot easier for me to compete. Ultimately, Andre wants to be a professional boxer, and a Golden Gloves victory would be a great start. Cool. That's my stretch. End of the stretch. In Brooklyn, Francesca Iacovangelo, PressPassTV.com. Well, we hope you enjoyed that segment. Thanks for joining us here at PressPassTV.com. We hope you come back real soon. For the entire PressPassTV.com team, I'm Michael Arts is saying so long. Be terrific.